What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to my kitchen. When it comes to having a perfect anabolic breakfast, for me, it's got to accomplish three things. One, it's got to be simple. I want to be able to eat breakfast in about 15 minutes. Two, it's got to be packed with protein and extra filling, baby. I don't want to be hungry an hour later. And three, by God, it's got to be delicious. In today's video, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to show you how we're going to do all three of those things and eat like kings or queens. Don't forget those queens in the audience. In today's video, we'll be making anabolic brownie waffles. If you've been wanting dessert, for breakfast, but your relationship with Cinnabon has been on the rocks lately, then look no further than this video because I'm telling you, it just might change your life. And if the idea of eating foods you love on a diet sounds appealing, right? You're trying to get rid of the old standard egg whites and spinach and that cold bowl of oatmeal, then check out the RJF Anabolic Cookbook, baby. All my high protein, low calorie, extra filling anabolic recipes are in here. It's an easy to use guide to fits right in your pocket. Every recipe on the channel broken down, man. It's never been this simple or this anabolic. Link down below in my description to get it one you get every future recipe I have for free. So now if you guys are ready to get another epic video underway, then as always, man, I'm here to do it for you. Let's do it! Yeah! And I wasn't lying to you, this breakfast is super easy, man. We start with a food scale and a mixing bowl. First thing we do is weigh out 92 grams of egg beaters. Egg whites will also work. Egg beaters have the exact same calories and macros. It's just got some extra stuff in it. I think it makes the end product a little better. But do you, boo? Now we throw in 170 grams of plain fat-free Greek yogurt. This Chobani brand is my favorite, but if you got a favorite, use that. No rules in this kitchen. Besides that food scale, you'll get arrested if you don't use that. Now the holy grail of ingredients, we're gonna add in 29 grams of sugar-free brownie mix. Pillsbury brand. In these videos and in my cookbook, I try to find brands that you can buy almost anywhere, man. Majority of time, you don't got a special order, nothing. It's right at your grocery. Just use them peepers. You'll find it. We're just gonna wash that scale as we pour it in like we're about to make a deal. And then next up, we need 13 grams of instant, complete pancake and waffle mix. I like Hungry Jack, man. It's cheap, never does me wrong. Jack's the type of guy that would help you on the side of the road if you were broken down. He'd change your tire. Maybe let you stay with him in the family. Family? And while you're adding it in, keep an eye on that scale the same way you would your girlfriend at an all boys fraternity. You can't afford to take your eyes off of it. And then next up, we're gonna toss in 31 grams of a chocolate whey protein. I'm using that Optum Nutrition Gold Standard. Once again, like everywhere has this stuff. If you're using vanilla, it better be that Final Boss Whey. But if it's chocolate, I'll let this slide. It ends up being right around one scoop, but we're still using that scale. Now we add in 10 grams of unsweetened cocoa powder, really loaded up with that chocolate flavor. Then we're gonna add in three grams of baking powder. Powder. And then finally, about five grams of some good old fashioned zero calorie sweetener. I've gotten no side effects from using this stuff other than my left big toe is now triple size. So I'm spending double the money on shoes, but the gains are so worth it. Now all we do, go in with a spoon and mix everything together thoroughly until we have a brown smooth batter. And just like that, man, our batter is ready to go. You can taste it, it's gonna taste pretty good, but we still gotta run it through the industrial machine. This is an Oster waffle maker, man. You're gonna get this on Amazon for like 20 bucks, Walmart 20 bucks, Kroger 20 bucks, and you will use the stinking crap out of it if you get one, man. I'm telling you, it makes breakfast a pinch. Just set it to a medium heat, hit that bottom and top with some nonstick, and then all we do is just spoon our batter right on here until we get full coverage. Then we just give her a close, and all we do is wait about 60 to 90 seconds. You see this red light here? That's gonna turn green. And once that turns green, I usually wait like 30 seconds and each waffle is done. So I'm gonna go through, cook all these waffles, and then I'm gonna show you our super secret topping. Let's go. And in just a few minutes, we got a triple stack of anabolic brownie waffles. Don't those look chocolatey? Now, no good stack of waffles is anything without some toppings. We're gonna do a combo of Hershey's sugar-free chocolate syrup and Miss Buttersworth sugar-free maple syrup to really make this magical. So in a small bowl, lather some sugar-free syrup and some maple syrup. Mix them together with a spoon. Then we'll just go in and give it a nice drizzle right on top. And then of course, some fat-free Ready Whip is gonna set the mood off right. And boom, baby, would you look at that. Mm -hmm. 
And boom, ladies and gentlemen, I present to you anabolic brownie waffles. We got that delicious brownie flavor cooked into every waffle. We got our sugar-free chocolate syrup on top with that fat-free whipped cream. If you know me, you know I love waffles. And if you also love waffles or you love brownies, give this one a shot. If you made it this far into the video, please smash that thumbs up button for me. Comment anything down below for that algae. Hit that subscription button. And guys, before this gets cold, I think it's time to pull up a chair, strap on the old feed bag, and try this thing together. You guys ready? Let's go. All right, baby, it's showtime. But first, man, if you eat this breakfast and you find yourself out and about for the entire day and you're like, man, I didn't prep any food, I want something that's delicious while also anabolic, don't forget the Anabars. The anabolic protein bar is officially available on finalbossformance.com and it is my guarantee to you, if you try this out, it could potentially be the best tasting protein bar you've ever had. I think so, a lot of the reviews think so, and I really think if you give it a shot, man, it might just be a new favorite. So, finalbossformance.com, could RJF10 will save you 10 percent. All right, let's get down in here, man. What I love about waffles is the amount of volume you get. You feel like you're eating forever, right? You never leave a plate of anabolic waffles feeling like you want more. You're always good. All right, we got a little bit of everything, man. Is that looking good to you? Because to me, it looks like a home run. Three, two, one, let go. So much chocolate. Seriously, the waffles, nice and fluffy. The syrup, Oh, nice and chocolatey. You add in that little bit of fat-free whipped cream and you're in business, huh? I think my plan's down the road. I wanna open up a chain of anabolic restaurants that just serve my recipes, but fast food style. That's that's the goal. What would we call it? Comment below, what would the name of that be? The Anabolic Kitchen? The Anabolic School for Witchcraft and Wizardry? There's lots of options, but if I choose the latter, I might get canceled. Strange times we live in, folks. So not only is a recipe like this easy, but I feel as if I'm eating like a king right now. And that should be the goal with any diet you're on. No bird food portions, no choking down greens that you don't even like. A real sustainable diet is one that's enjoyable where you're having fun with it. You can literally make this, take a picture of it, post it on Instagram while you're making gains and just tell, be like, be jealous, people. I know you're jealous. <laughs> that's a real diet. Mm. Now in this entire triple stack of waffles, if you make it exactly how I did it, what you end up with for the whole thing is only 444 calories, four grams of fat, 54 grams of protein, 48 grams of carbs, eight grams of fiber. I don't know what you guys are thinking, but to me, that's the perfect way to start the day. Loads of protein, filling, high volume, amazing flavor, delicious. That's life right there. That's my life summed up. That's what I want my life to be, all of those things. And hopefully if y'all have been following the channel and following these recipes or you got the cookbook, you're living your best life too. And just just like that, ladies and gentlemen, we are down to the final bite. Let's go. Mm. Once again, this one's gonna have to get a 10 out of 10. Hit everything on the head, we get high volume, high flavor, high protein, I mean, come on, man. You saw what just happened, that was magic. If anybody ever figures out what we got going on over here, they just might try to cancel it. And you already know, if you got the RJF Anabolic Cookbook, it has been updated, so this recipe is now in there along with every other recipe on this channel, man. We're putting an end to boring diets. As long as we focus on the amount of calories we eat in a day and we're eating high protein foods, we literally cannot fail. It's never been easier for me to maintain this type of physique year round and enjoy it, man. This doesn't feel like suffering at all. I'm not cutting any food out completely. I'm just making the better choices, man. With this cookbook in your pocket, you can do the exact same thing. Link down below. I am stuffed. Appreciate you guys, as always, for checking out the channel. Smash the thumbs up button for me. Comment anything down below. Help that algae. Hit that subscription button. And until next time, ladies and gentlemen, I will see each and every one of you at the next video. See you guys. Boy, we got a mess here. Mm. I love chocolate.